mistakes being look at Lee Matthews the mistakes being made by and you don't see Lee Matthews that animated do you look at him pushing Voss in there that is about as animated I've seen Lee Matthews since he's been at Brisbane just a point here I, I mean there's been it's been some criticism of Lee and whether he can handle a developing team it's fascinating of course he can Collingwood and Brisbane were both developing teams when he took them over. Christy Malthouse. Thanks, Stephen. Well, I was going to talk about Lee Matthews. He gave the team an absolute spray just then. He said, why aren't we playing as a team and why are we wasting so many opportunities? He pointed to the scoreboard. He said, it's only five goals. We can win it. And then, as you saw, he shoved Michael Voss in to give the team another spray. Uh, Jonathan Brown is one to look out for. He looks like he's really struggling. He almost looks like he's running on the spot. During that break, he had his hands on his knees, really uh, trying to get, catch his breath. So he looks like he's really going to struggle in this last term. Could you hear him, Christy? Could I hear Lee Matthews? Yeah, I certainly could. Loud and clear by the sounds of <laughs> yes. it. No secrets, Christy. <laughs> they were uh, hey, telling Malcolm's pictures. Got a big towel over there, wiping all that egg off his face too. Oh, I knew it was going to happen. Fair enough. Tigers by 31. Can Brisbane somehow work their way back into this? Brennan and uh, Black and Sherman. This is a good start. Will it go all the way? It won't quite. And the Richmond defence has held up well, conceding only five goals for the night so far. Tigers lead by five goals. They've left themselves a little open here. But they've even been able to make some virtue out of their mistakes, and they've come out of this for the free kick. Not sure about that one. It's interesting this. I mean, pumping up a team like that, as I said, Lee doesn't do that very often, but Brisbane have still got to be careful. They don't go over the top, and they all chase the same footy. Great kick oh, by nice. Johnson. Finds Coughlin. This is his 21st disposal. Charman kept his feet. Back to beg your pardon, it wasn't Charman, it was Copeland. Richmond get possession. Delidio has a couple of steady bounces, takes it to the 50, squares it up. And the kick's not good. And Bradshaw in the last line of defence. Well, that's a concession. They've got to kick goals to win this match, and it looks as though Bradshaw's gone back. Kick to half back. Pushed him out, Richmond. Free kick to Coglin against Coglin. Delidio puts Richmond again inside 50. Fall of the ball is Jackson. Snap by Timmondale. There's three Tigers in the square going, What about me? <laughs> He's kicked a point. All three with their hands outstretched at the same time. Yeah, it was pretty hard to see that. I yeah, mean, he knew he was under pressure, so he just had to get on the boot. Well, they've kicked twice as many goals as Brisbane for the night, and they look about three times as likely to score at the moment. Fixed it to Ackermanis. Oh. He would have just mopped that up on the half volley and been gone in a flash. He is definitely out of sorts, isn't he? Yeah, but the kick wasn't great to him, let's be fair. But still, an Ackermanis of old would have just pounced on that. Yeah, it was a pretty awkward bounce. Play the ball, go to front, guys, play the ball. Charman wins handsomely. Hooper, was he held? Looked like it from here. Black. McDonald, good kick. Working it inboard against his momentum. Good collect by Brown. He really is their only hope. Sherman versus Kellaway. Sherman with pace wins. And Brisbane pull one back. Get up, move. Get, get up, move. Get up. Goal for 31 minutes. Kicked by Sherman. Remember Timmy talk about the three goal theory in football? I was wondering when you'd bring that into play. Tigers by 25. Charman thumps it forward. Hooper can't control it. Handball comes out to Simmons. Throws it under the boot. Not a bad effort to half forward. Big win here. A big win. Picked up by Attard to Johnson. Now Notting. Driving kick, Browns one out with his opponent, works to the front, was he being held? No. And we'll have a bounce, 45 out. Big Jonathan not happy. Still pretty important for Richmond here to still want to get the football, don't go back in their shells, they still have a lot of young players. Brisbane still are looking wonderful. for another one to gather momentum, Brennan Brown with the flight, he likes these. Couldn't quite do it. The Giants, he's their Samson. Oh, 
great punch from Callaway, wasn't it? Just got the ball clean. The defence has held up pretty well. Yeah, been impressive. Attard, they're at him. And it ain't coming out of there. The Tigers by 25, but Brisbane are mounting an effort here to try and regain respectability and, for their sake, hopefully the lead. Huge number of players around the ball. Power. Not a bad effort. It's better than not bad. The Lions get another one. Get up, move. Get, get up, move. To keep playing, to win this game. Way too early to go into their shells. But the challenge is coming. And it will be a little unnerving for the visitors, the outsiders who have done so well up until now. Margin 19, very gettable. Game is on, Charman climbing high. Well read at the back by uh, Patterson. Michael beats Richardson, this is better for Brisbane. Fixed her now. And here comes Brown, but the kick went in the wrong direction. Brown was going up the corridor. He might win it yet. Bowden's done a pretty Clever. fair job. Ackerman has taken over. No, yes, it was out. Have you noticed something? How Charman's now punching the ball yeah, forward? Yeah, just smashing it forward. I old mean, this, style. this is old Brisbane style, because yeah. you get your guys running. I mean, I've always been a bit of a believer in that. When you get on top, you can tap it. But it has been most noticeable, those belts out the middle. They haven't got them all, but at least you're on the front foot then as an on-baller. So 50 out from the Lions goal. They're making their run. Simmons and Charman. Oh, they both missed it in the end. Charman. Good tackle, Tuck. Here's a chance for Attard. <laughs> Footy to Jaden Attard, and it has come at an opportune time as the Lions continue their fight back. 13 points from Richmond's point of view, dangerously close, and the momentum is all one way. Here comes Brown, but Black's kick into a dangerous spot. Hooper, Voss is there as well. The champion mounting a great effort. The ball winning. Yep. Holding the ball. Tigers ball. Joel Bowles. No, it won't be Bowles. Will be Kellaway. Tigers need a steady in goal. This is where Brisbane really need to chase now. A little slowing the game down is a good idea, and that's how you do it in modern footy. But let's see, that's, that could have been chased much harder than that. Brisbane need a man each here, let no one go away. The self doubts now are Richmond's. Michael once again making a very good spoil. That ball didn't quite cross the line. It has to be entirely over. It doesn't matter. Brisbane can rebound. And Chris Johnson, who's had a mixed night. A couple of high moments, but uh, a couple of shaky ones. McDonald, as Brisbane having kicked three on the trot, are looking for a fourth to really set the cat among the pigeons. Let him run, guys. Fixed up. There's Brown on Bowden. This pops it in. Hopes for the best. Huge pack by Brown! No mark! Play on! He's going to be a ride. Now, is this a mark? Seen worse than that, Pate. Absolutely. Tuck almost threw it out. Got away with it. Delidio. Ball's kicked a half back and fixed her again. He's been reasonable. The short's on. It's the man who kicked the last goal in Atard. Brown calling the shots again. Atard winds up. It's a helicopter. It'll drop short. And Brown's in front. Well, the big boys are lifting. Here's the brown mark again, the last one that wasn't paid. That is the mark, is it? Oh. 
I, I certainly would have paid it. Yep. Anyway, he's got it at the end. This to cut the margin back to under double figures, and Brown's got it. It's up for shock tactics, Malcolm. Is that what it sometimes takes? A real jolt? Oh, look, I think you do that as a coach, but you never quite see what the reaction is. Sometimes guys go back in their shells. I mean, you're never quite certain. This is a most unexpected turnaround. Brisbane look beaten. Foley works it out, but he missed Tuck. Tigers badly needing a steadier. They get a free kick. Didn't have it. And the line ball decision seem to have gone their way for the last little while. And the local fans know it. Tambling, who kicked one of those six goals on end. But turned the game, apparently, irrevocably, Richmond's way. But it's turned back. Brisbane are alive. Just seven points in it. Pretty good ball from Tambling. Michael and Richardson tangling again. <laughs> Notting makes a firm tackle and ensures there's no escape. There'll be a throw in. Just to follow that up, Tim, if, if as a coach you think the teams are roughly about even on paper, or a little bit hard, you know, I would have thought that Brisbane would have been favourites tonight and generally so. And you put in a six goal to one quarter and talent on the field says you shouldn't do that. What do you do? Just say nothing? Simmons for Richmond. Puts it inside 50. Richardson third man in and he's taken it. Mel Michael is not 100% at the moment. Well, Bradshaw and Richardson his... Richardson just got away from him. Yeah, Bradshaw came back on him, so he just got caught out of the contest virtually by Bradshaw being in the way. So Matthew Richardson's first touch in 17 minutes is an important one. And as, as Richo goes back, just to follow it up, Tim, I, you know, six to one is not the ability on the ground. I mean, you can get beat in a quarter, we know that, you have a bad quarter. But when it's that bad, I reckon as a coach, you've got to say something. Richardson for goal number three. Goal umpire did not move. You can't come the man. Richo kicks the biggest goal of the night. And the Tigers extend their lead. But it's not over. Plenty of time left yet. Umpire Wynn concentrating hard on the bounce. It favours Charm, Bang. who goes the old-fashioned thump again. But Hartigan read it beautifully and blazes. Richardson in the race, two against him. Did it cross? No, it didn't. Boundary umpire was in good position. Oh, Tigers left. still a chance. Pettifer. Riscatelli. Oh, that is a hot no. that was a... Didn't dive on it. Tried to get it out. I'll have it Fierce quickly. contest. Interesting, Mal Michael wanted to keep that in. You know why? Because the scoreboard says you have to. Cool. Did it cross? Yeah, it's got to be all of the ball over. I reckon all of it might have crossed there, but the boundary up I was uh, obscured by Michael's more than ample frame. And another throw in here. I love watching these packs. Oh, Lee not happy. Just who's on the move? Who's going to take the punt run? Fixed up the bottom of that. Charman's got to be good here. Oh, that's not a hurt himself here, Charman. That's not a knee, is it? Yeah, it looked like he hurt his knee when he was tackled by Johnson. Oh, let's hope it's OK. Can you take He's it? getting a free kick because he was tackled after he'd disposed of the ball, and rightly so. The ball had gone. It's OK. Oh, that's Jamie such okay. a pity. It, actually, Jamie. hopefully, it might Jamie. be his instep. You know how you on. just bend your foot back? And you tweak your sort of instep ankle ish area. Well, he's up, and that's good news. Yeah. Because he's due for some luck. No one on the mark, so he ambles off. Well, his foot would feel dead, too. He does his best. <laughs> Black slipped over at the crucial moment. Could take the mark. Tivendale. Black. Well done. Perseverance. Tapped it out to power. And taking the uncontested mark here is Bowden. <laughs> to Kellaway. I'm not sure he's got to do with it. Decides to keep it out wide to the wing. And a Richardson. Quick give over to Jackson. He's caught flat footed. Kellaway to Hall. Tackled by Ackermanis. Oh. Brown won it back for Brisbane. Ackermanis now. What can he do with it? Long raking left foot kick. Brennan has got there.
play on, son. Play on! Play on! Keep running! Oh, oh no, he's on the left side. Oh. So now he's hemmed in the forward pocket. No one it's else from the yeah, Tigers exactly. coming in to oh. just uh, hold, stand some ground here and stop him from running around. That is very slack. Oh, yeah, but all he had to do was run back on his left foot. He's a natural left foot. There's a panic behind him. He goes short. Oh, that's oh. terrible. Oh, wow. Just terrible. Well, that could be the moment. It just might deflate the gas from the balloon. Just unintelligent football, isn't it? He plays like that too. Isn't he? That gusto stuff. And why would you just keep running? Real intensity about Richmond tonight. They have come here to win. Kellaway to Hartigan. Attacking hand pass for Foley, who's done some good things. Bradshaw versus Stafford. Richo from the angle. Can he finesse it home? He can. And he reckons he might have the Tigers home. Universe. Out to a 19-point buffer once again. They led by 31 at the last change. There's still time for the Lions. Knock it out. Look it out, look it out. And another one here from Richmond would be the Sealy, you reckon? Look it out. And yeah, we'll have us another bounce in the middle. Oh, I've been sorry. very patient here. Sorry, oh, sorry guys. Sorry. Thank you. Straight back. Straight back. Simple look at the body language of the Brisbane players. And they're urgent. Pointing, telling people where to stand. Throw. No, no, no. No clinch fist, mate. Black. Kellaway. Let go. Stay just. Stop. Right in the middle of the Gabba. Awkward <laughs> kick. But uh, it's out in front of a teammate that's Timmendale who's got a dangerous left boot. Finds some space. Loads up in the goal square. Stafford! And this, you reckon, would be the sealer. And he doesn't miss many from here, does the big ruckman. He's got two. Great mark. Well, it was. And uh, just in front of us now, some Brisbane line people walking out. Had enough. Mm. Now, Greg Stafford for his third. Inside. Some of the locals are leaving. Richmond have kicked the steadying goals and they're back out to a 25 point lead. Six half time, they've had nine free kicks to just two for Brisbane. I must say, I feel the rub of the green has been their way. Copeland for the Lions. Brown is there, but he's got a lot against him, and Andrew Kellaway's fist was sweetly timed. Joel Bowden exhorting his teammates on. They've been a committed and tight run bunch. Around, run around. Hold it, hold it. Run around, Richmond. Good contest between Bowden and Brown. Come up. Brown's been footy, clearly Brisbane's most dangerous forward, but Bowden has always been competitive. Simmons needs to get rid of it. He let it go. He's gone. It'll be a free kick to Hooper. No, no, no continuation. Yeah, I'm not sure that's the best rule in the game either. It's just a bit too sudden yeah. death, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, and a game that's always encouraged players to try and take possession of the ball yeah. actually discourages it in this interpretation. But it's not an interpretation, it's a rule. Hooper. To pull one back. He curls it back beautifully. Super Hooper. Richmond by 19. Stafford to stay down. Interesting. Torpy inside oh. 50. And that'll be a free kick for a hole. No one can doubt that one. Degree of difficulty 3.75. Right out, Greg. Look at almost swan dive, isn't it? Off the ball. Mills to power. It's power up to 25 to Michael. Big Mal. Punches it long, looks for Brown, just got nudged out of it very nicely and subtly by Bowden. Jonathan Brown tonight's had 18 disposals, 11 marks, two goals, three. Jackson. Long ball. 
Merritt did well. Clever in the end. Sweeping handball from Sherman to Brennan. And we'll have a throw in. Well, it's 20, what, six minutes to go. Yeah, yeah. not insurmountable. No, but, but I mean, in today's footy, if you, if you get hold of the ball and can hold it up, you can certainly hit the clock. Joel McDonald, kickable. A minor. The margin 18 points, so it cuts the degree of difficulty by a shade. It's back to three kicks. Tigers don't want to make mistakes back there. That's a long ball oh, from that? Joel Bowden. What a kick. Beautiful to Hartigan. Wow. He's judged to have run off the mark. He must have heard the call. He keeps his cool and gives it off neatly to Simmons, who's been an effective big man. Their tall timber in perfect conditions has worked well for them tonight. Are they playing for time already? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. You really should be able to eat three minutes up. So that means Brisbane have got to kick three goals in three minutes of the rest of the game. And a tired team having to try and pinch the ball off them. Yep. Not easily done. And Simmons with good hands there off Tivendale's kick. And the time available to Brisbane is down to five minutes. And Tivendale then runs up, follows his own kick. Yep. Well, they've got a man up Brisbane if they're going to have any chance at all. Well, yeah, but I mean, it's also about Brisbane now going, picking up an That's opponent. That's right, manning up. Now, this kick could have been intercepted. Power just couldn't quite get there. Oh, that was dangerous. Off the hook of the Tigers as Reigns punches it long. Crummers wanted. Johnson looks tired. Tucks in there. So is Tambling. Delidio, Black. A bounce, 45 out from Richmond's goal. They lead by three goals. Thanks, Rich. Malcolm, of all the sons of uh, illustrious fathers who have played the game, I don't know whether any looks more like his dad than Andrew Reigns, just running through the oh, middle there and unloading ringer, the kick. Same balance st running style. Moody. Oh, handball went straight to uh, Johnson, who can put the uh, issue beyond doubt, and he does. Richmond are home. The Swans and then Adelaide will be tough. And they haven't had a lot of luck with injuries too. You know, some sides are like that, but they haven't. Good return by Big Greg Stafford. It's been a good selection, wasn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Three goals and perfect weather up here though. Perfect place to play it really, isn't it? A four-goal lead, not long to go, and the Tigers now have it by the tail. Kane Johnson having kicked that goal, scissor kick, but uh, straight to Copeland. Power and a man loose in Attard. Ackermanis has not been able to put a firm imprint on this, and that Tiger defence has been admirable. I, I, I think that's been, as much as the big forwards, Richardson, Stafford, etc., have been good, I, I've been really impressed with their back line. They look really balanced. Not overly tall, but they run the ball out and got good skill. A couple of tough weeks coming up for Brisbane. West Coast next week. And then Sydney. Charman tries to bust his way through the pack. Well, I think we've no, got to say it again. It, the Brisbane that we knew, and, and I say Lee Matthews has kept on saying it, is that's, that's well and truly over. This is a team that's got a lot of kids with a lot of development. They've still got some very good players, of course, we know that. But they are miles away. Oh, Charman trying to do it all himself. Uh, he'll get a point for his efforts. And one of the things people find a bit difficult in this when they've been so good is that, well, well, we, we, we're expected to win. I mean, what's going on? But the truth of the matter is the draft and salary cap and ageing and all those things. It happens to every other club's happening. It must make it hard for the young kids who are now wearing the colours that are so famous and well known up here and have created such high expectation. We'll get back to that. Here's Luke Power still going and pulling one back. That's his. Things that I didn't even know we carried. It just amazes me. This is, uh, this is a new Brisbane, and they're going to have to create their own history. And Lee has got another couple of years, and he's the guy that should be developing for the next two. Good 
Sharman to Akamanis. That's his 20th disposal for Akamanis. Inside 50. Oh, big fly, no mark. That was Bradshaw. Akamanis again, snapping at his heels is Tambly. Good tackle. Johnson. Short to Copeland, who in turn finds Moody. He wastes no time. Little left foot chip kick. Couldn't find Bradshaw. Tuck. A high ball. And it's a good mark taken by Moody. Now the Tigers are going to break the ice in season 2006 against the odds up at the Gabba. Brown. Hey, look at him. <laughs> the raging bull. Back to Bradshaw. To the third tall. Merritt can't take the mark. Oh, Hooper. What happened there? Fresh airy. Just the point. Yeah, memorable from Richmond, though. Gee whiz. I've got a slight bit of egg on my face, I don't mind saying. You know, I thought Brisbane would win at home. But uh, that's all more credit to Richmond. So I think there was once a well-known television commentator who uttered the words, I tip this. I'm not going to repeat that. I'll just keep the lid on it. <laughs> this is Ray Hall. 31 minutes gone and the Tigers with 16 points up their sleeve. And they can just chip it around and soak up the seconds. Patrick Bowden. And a cog in the wheel, not a major one, but uh, he's done his job. Oh, that's well. Oh, it's a good way of icing the clock if you've got enough points in the bag. I'd rather get a kick. I'd hate to see it become regular <laughs> practice. Yeah. On there, Joel! Callaway. On there, Dan! Yeah, human. Richmond's work has been done. Well, if it's play on, it's a behind. It's a behind. Now, what's going to happen here? It's clear. It's another point. So this is a this is almost a, this is a tactic. They are doing this on purpose. Well, it has been mooted, hasn't it? Yeah, the yeah, last it has. Two or three years. And Richmond are discussing it in about the game. Play right now. And while one might urge too much rule change uh, you'd hate to see that sort of thing become standard practice nice. Newman Stafford and the tired Tigers will be happy to hear the siren they'll be joyful in fact Delidio has been good tonight he's done a lot of running he's been creative he has helped break Brisbane open and they did break open during the fateful third quarter when after kicking the first goal they conceded six on the trot just a blaze away that time from Delidio for territory. Michael, gleaming as ever. McDonald playing his first game for the season. There it is. The Lions' colours have been lowered on their home turf. The Tigers' first win of the season is a memorable affair. The margin is 14 points. And then they can find the Tigers' song, Tim. Well, they should have played up here last year. In fact, Richmond have improved by 10 points, only won by 4 points. There we go. We're from Tigerland, a fighting fury, we're from Tigerland. Oh, that would be That's a lovely taste at the moment. Grin, risking head and skin, and we're behind them, never mind, we'll fight and fight and win. Let's go down to Christy Mulhouse for the man tonight who kicked four goals for the Tigers, Matthew Richardson. Thanks, Stephen. Or well, Matthew, that was a huge win. How do you rate it? Yeah, look, we really needed it. Obviously, zero on three coming into this round. We really needed a win to give ourselves a chance of like progressing in the year. So to come up here to the gap, we're always you know extremely tough. We know that. So get a win, we're wrapped here. What, what, do you, what does it say about the team, the fact that you could withstand that fight back in the last quarter? Yeah, look, obviously, round one, we were pathetic. Round two against St Kilda, we fought it out. And for a half last week, over in Subi, we fought it out. So, look, form didn't look good. But if you had a deeper look at it, we know we've been actually fighting things out. So it gives us something to build on. Uh, we've got a six-day break. It's been a tough draw. But, you know, hopefully this will set us rolling now. Now, for yourself, four goals. But that when you beat Michael Voss to the ball at the, at the beginning of that term, I mean, it just seemed to sum up your game, just desperate to win. 
yeah, haven't been playing great footy, so I've been trying to work my way into a bit of form and gradually getting there like the team and just looking forward to next week. Well, well done. Thanks a lot, Christy. Matthew Richardson, four goals tonight, 16 disposals, nine marks. Four goals won. There's the Brisbane Lions. Plenty of Richmond fans up here too, isn't there? There's quite a few US sections full of Tigers fans. Yes, when they do get on a roll and start winning, there's, there's plenty of support. And a nice gesture here. The Tigers fans have signed footies and kicking them out into the crowd. Be a lovely trip home after a win like this. Do you enjoy those wins on the road, Malcolm? Absolutely. Yes, that, I mean, it can galvanise a club and they can actually turn a, a season around. As I think, Richmond have been as stiff as anyone with injuries and, it, and I don't mind saying, that's why I thought they'd struggle here tonight, but it proved a lot of critics wrong, including me, and it might be just a great, you know, launching pad now for the next for the month. Well, they've got Carlton, as we said, uh, next Friday night. That's certainly a winnable game, and... Uh, gee, one and, one and three looks a lot better than zero and four, doesn't it? And it could oh, almost no. be... Uh, well, next week could be two and two and three. One of the problems here is that, I mean, I said if Brisbane didn't win tonight, I think their season's gone as far as the eight's concerned. That doesn't mean you can't still develop players and win some games. But you've got a, you've got a team here, Brisbane, who are definitely on the down, as in form-wise. And perhaps Richmond, as Matthew Richardson said, their last two games have been OK, not startling OK. Maybe they're the team on the up. Back down to Christy Moldhouse with Kane Johnson. Thanks, Stephen. Well, you all look wrapped and very much well well deserved that you should be wrapped about that win. Yeah, look, it's been a very frustrating start for us. We've uh, probably played the top three sides of the competition at the moment. To come up here and beat Brisbane, who have been a terrific side for the last five years, it's a really good effort by the boys and they showed a lot of character. It must give you a lot of confidence, a win like that. Yeah, look, we always knew we were heading in the right direction. We've played some good footy. It's just been little lapses in quarters that have cost us. But tonight I thought we played four solid quarters and it got us a result. Now, how are you feeling? That was a pretty heavy collision with Mel Michael. Yeah, I knew I was in trouble there when I saw the big fella coming. But uh, you just got to do it and uh, hopefully we can, uh, if you do those sort of things, the boys get the result. So. Well, good work. No worries. Thank you. Thanks. There's Terry Wallace. Bit of pressure off the coach, as always. Yeah, and... Uh of course, Kane uh, played in two premierships at the Crows. And, uh, he did too. Marvellous balanced player. Fabulous coach back of that era too. <laughs> we'll take a break. The Tigers have broken the ice in season 2006. Yeah.